Hello everyone, Lawrence here. I literally just came back from Belgium's biggest bike show and I shot some footage of six really cool mountain bikes that I picked out for no particular reason other than I personally like them along with a single road bike um, that I'm probably going to be testing this year, probably next month or so. Um, so in the comments if you want to see any of these bikes reviewed please let me know but for now let's just have a look at them. Alright let's start with an electric bike um, but more specifically I picked this one because it's the Spectral on and I personally own the normal Spectral so I'm really interested in you know knowing the difference between the e-bike and non-e-bike especially when it comes to descending because we all know it's obviously going to climb a lot better because of the motor. Now what's really special about this one is that it's got two different wheel sizes and to me that makes a lot of sense on a full suspension bike and probably in this year's downhill world cup but I would also really like to see this concept on an aggressive hardtail. Um, other than that bike looked really good even though it has this funky saddle and you know it's quite busy with the welding I think it looks really good. Another bike I really really liked is the um, Cannondale Habit. For another reason, again similar to my Spectral, the frames look very similar, that was like number one comment on, on Pink Bike. First the Spectral looks like a Jeffsy, but now the Habit looks like a Spectral, so really interesting bike to me and I really want to ride it, see and feel what it's like, because this is a 29er version and it's probably faster than a 650B bike. Other than that, the bike was you know very nicely done, great paint job nice detail everywhere you know no weird cost cutting going on anywhere so I really liked it especially this carbon fiber model although it is also available in aluminium of course now as someone who started out riding cross-country and then moved to more gnarly riding um, I really liked the BMC four stroke it's not quite the down country that seems to be the new hype but um, it's quite a modern progressive mountain bike although it does come with a pretty massive price tag but for that you get pretty much full carbon everything really nice build kit and this integrated dropper post uh, but this really is a cross-country racing weapon designed for the more um, aggressive rowdier new XCO races instead of the old cross-country which was pretty much just gravel biking and then the only downhill bike on the entire show was Martin Mace's GT Fury World Cup winning downhill bike. I think it was this exact bike or they could just have put the number on, on a different bike, it doesn't really matter. Um, overall it's just a really nice bike, top level kit obviously because it's a World Cup winning bike. But the reason I picked this one is because it's got this virtual pivot, not a VPP but you know it's not like a single pivot but it's got that idler wheel and we're also seeing that with a new trail bike that's still in development so again really interested in seeing where this sort of mountain biking technology goes because I think this bike looks gorgeous and I really want to see it on more trail bikes as well because here in Belgium we don't really have mountains this is the uh, the Pro Race Chaos Disc. Now, Pro Race is a Belgian brand. Um, they make race bikes at an affordable price point. They're not the 10,000 euro carbon racing machines that other brands offer. These are actually bikes people can afford. And you know, the combination of affordability and a Belgian brand is why I really want to have a look at them. I really liked. The bikes just, you know, seeing them like this for the first time, the only thing I kind of noticed is that the tires are super skinny, so comfort wise I don't really know what that's going to be like, but um, they're very affordable, look good, and I can't wait to get my butt on one. Moving back to Canyon, of course there's their brand new Pride and Joy, the new Strife Enduro Racing Bike 29er, and what can I say, this bike is so gorgeous. It looks good in the marketing pictures, it looks horrible in the video that I shot of it because it's handheld, um, but the bike is just gorgeous. I mean, the previous Strife was really good looking, this thing takes it to a whole new level. It's got a shapeshifter that apparently won't break, unlike the previous one of course, but overall it just looks like a really nice racing bike, even though a lot of people on Pink Bike seem to have this idea that if it doesn't have a 63 degree head angle it's unrideable. I mean it's got 66 degrees but whatever. Looks like a really good bike. It's got the same handlebar and grips as I have on my Spectral and those are awesome. Um, yeah, really good bike and apparently I can test it in uh, the Happy Bike Days event so uh, I'll definitely be doing that because the bike looks stunning. I also really wanted to 
shoot some video of the brand new full-on carbon Neuron. Now the Neuron is a very special bike to me. First of all, it started my love for mountain biking, but also it's super versatile. So it doesn't have massive travel, but it's still usable on rowdy terrain. But then at the same time, you can even use it as a cross-country bike if you really want to. Again, it follows that brand new Canyon um, design language and I just really like it so if you guys liked it as well please let me know I'll beg them for a review bike and um, yeah massive thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video